Make sure that you guys never miss a video by subscribing and turning on notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Thanks. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Quad here, and today we have a little bit something special. I said that this was going to be coming back, and it actually ended up coming back today. That would be Prop Hunt in Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm just going to start up a game here real quick so that we don't waste any time. So as you can see here, we have Prop Hunt, which has 47% of the entire MWR population. It's a little bit lower than how it was the last time they had it, but I mean, that was only like 55%, so it's down 10%. But to put it in perspective, Prop Hunt has more people playing that than all the standard game modes combined. So it's definitely still popular. I think that they definitely should make it a full-time game mode, but I'm not too sure if they'll be doing that. So we'll find out after this weekend if it's going to be permanent after this. They made a couple changes, so maybe it's just because they wanted to have the changes to be able to make it as good as possible and then they'll make it permanent. Or maybe they'll just keep it coming just to like keep people coming back for more so that it doesn't get like too repetitive for them. I'm not really sure, but it seems like those are really the only reasons. We're going to have a three on three, but it doesn't really matter for a prop hunt. Now it's four on four. And I'll tell you guys the changes real quick off the top of my head. The uh, changes that they made are that props cannot regenerate health. The hunters get one special grenade, but it does not stun or flash. It just simply gives you a hit marker to let you know that there is a prop in that area. If a hunter gets damaged, like from fall damage or something like that, it'll instantly turn them back to 100 percent health i believe so like your screen isn't bloodied at all but if you're a prop and you get hit at all your screen will stay bloodied just because of the fact that there is no health regeneration so that also kind of makes it a little bit more difficult because as like even if you're able to survive if you take a lot of damage you won't be able to like see everything that's going on exactly so it might make it harder to spot the enemies that are looking for you but other than that, it's really a lot of the same game mode. I do feel like the regeneration just makes it a lot more even. I feel like the three things that they could have done to make it like a lot more even is to get rid of regeneration, which is what they did. Honestly, I didn't think of it as one of the things that they could have done, but they ended up doing it, and it seems to be like a really good factor. And the other two things that I think that they could have done would be to decrease the speed of the props because the props are really fast, like extremely fast. And the other thing that they could have done, though, was to patch the hitboxes because the hitboxes for the really small items like the paint can or the hookah or chairs chairs are the really weird ones because you can hit the top of the chair and it doesn't do anything you have to hit the base of the chair for it to count that that was that was a decent spot but it was a little bit too obvious i just recognized that pretty easily there but yeah, the prop hitbox is definitely one of the things that I felt like they could have at least patched a little bit along with the regeneration. The regeneration kind of evens out the speed though because you can't regenerate as quickly so you can't really take advantage of the speed as much because you'll just be see people juke out other people left and right completely just because of the fact that they could regenerate the health right away if they weren't hit. But now if you like get a couple bullets on someone, that'll still help you be able to just work towards getting them down all the way we have no idea where these guys are i feel like this team hasn't split up that well at all right now guys that's the most obvious spot are we really not able to see that i feel like we're gonna get t at least two two to here up oh, there's a paint can i didn't even see where it went i gave up that's what I'm saying about the hitboxes. I, I guess I might have switched and I just didn't see anything. Oh, there it goes. <sighs> like they're, they're so small. You only should be able to have something that's at least like half the size of, of one of the players. Just because it's like just, it's too easy to be able to hide as something like a paint can or a hookah. Like here I'm a cash register. This is probably the smallest that I say that the item should go. I'll probably try to find a ledge over here that I can climb onto. Maybe this one right over here. Oh my god, I'm just going to be stuck here. That's one thing. If you you got to try to get into a good spot, but if you don't have enough time to do that, just find the next best thing that's right near you. Because once they start to come over there, you don't want to be moving around at all. One thing about this map is it is a really big map, so it really just does help for being able to just like find a spot and be spread out from everyone else and make it just harder for the other team to be able to get everyone in time. 
Yep, yep, you saw me. That's actually a really nice spot for that chair. And chairs are hard to hit, so I'll probably just move around a lot. He has no idea where I went. He probably thinks that I went out towards the middle. I think I might have just made it out of there. Wow, we have all of our guys left, so I just did a lot of distracting there for my team. You can see that I still am bloodied here, which is the change that they made. I would be full health right now. I was only able to take like four or five bullets there max, which that's probably not even that much. It was probably only like two or three, because I feel like chairs probably have like about four or five bullets for their health, but that worked out well there. And I could have switched over that box, but I just wanted to play it safe with the chair. And I switched to a dumpster or something like that, you know? So let's go back to being hunters. Hopefully my team will do a little bit better on the hunter side here. Honestly, I'm just going to check our spawns so that they don't come all the way over here. Because I remember I tried that one time and it worked out actually. I'll shoot that just in case. Alright, they're not in our spawn. Where are the teammates going? That's the most important thing. So there's no teammate going all the way to the top of the map this way. So I guess I'll go check this spot. That's one thing, if you're playing by yourself, you definitely got to make sure that you separate yourself from the teammates because you're better off just spreading yourself out. But if you're playing with friends, do the same thing and just make sure that you do callouts and stuff like that for when you see someone, when you hit someone, what you see, stuff like that. If you are actually trying to like win this game, it really just depends. It is a fun game mode, but it is also just fun to win if you know what I'm talking about there. Now that I mentioned that, that does also remind me that they also did make it so that you get more XP when you're playing this game mode. And how they did that is they made it so that the uh, XP that you earn as a prop works a lot like the slasher game mode where you just get 100 XP for every single 10 seconds or so I believe that you survive. And in the original version of Prop Hunt for that first week in Warfare they had it so that you didn't get any XP for playing as prop and you only got it for being a hunter and getting kills and for the match bonus for whether you won or lost the game. Honestly, it would be cool if they would just make the map smaller for this game mode, because maps like this, you just can't do this. Because I understand, like, you want to have all the maps in the game, and there are maps that are not in the game, such as Block, I believe, for example, still is not a part of this game. <sighs> There's really nothing else I can do there. I mean, I was looking at all the spots that the teammates weren't. Oh my god. Wait, was he a watermelon? I don't even know there. I remember looking on that spot. I fucking shot the cash register off. Alright, so here I am a box. So let's see if I can just find a good spot that'll have a bunch of other boxes around it, I guess you could say. Honestly, I'm going to go near their spawn. Hopefully I can get over there in time and get behind them. It'll be pushing it close. I think I got it. He didn't see me. Thank god, I thought I got there too late. And see guys, this is just way too easy. Map's too big. None of them even checked back here, so... And see, all I have to do now is just come over here. I can just keep a little watch out. And none of them can even see me from right here. Now I can just literally just sit here and wait, and if I see someone come near me, I can maybe go try to hide in that corner. 
and then keep on running down there or I could just flash them and hide somewhere else around here. There's just so many different things that you can do that just make this game mode a little bit too easy for the props at some points. I think one thing that would be cool if they did, I do think that the special grenade is one way that they could do it, but another way is maybe having, let's see, these modes are around like three minutes long, so once every single minute, maybe make it a 30 second marks, make it so that there's just one radar sweep, and that just tells you where they are, but they could be on an upper level or something like that. Obviously the whistling system does help some, but Unless you have like a full on headset, and my headset isn't even plugged into my PS4, I only have game sound coming from my TV, so it's really hard to tell like which direction the whistling is even coming from, and so that just like confuses you even more. All the whistling really helps with is just telling your friends that there is someone in your area so that you can have them just come over there if there's one left or something like that. Oh, here comes someone. It's just so much fun to do that type of stuff because props are just so overpowered. Oh my god, that's the kill cam too. That's just embarrassing because he still could have just sprayed his P90 into me and actually killed me there. But there we go. We got a 2-2 draw. I don't have much time to, left to put into this video because these games do take a while. For the total recording time here, this took me about 15 minutes or so. So... This will be it for this game, and this will be it for this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Prop Hunt is back, and hopefully it's back to stay. And Make sure you tweet at Wendell Wobble, at Raven Studios, at Activision, at Call of Duty, telling them that you want Prop Hunt to stay in Modern Warfare Remastered. I know that I will be doing so, and you guys better do it also if you want to see this game mode stay. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you turn on notifications so that you never miss a video from me. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. This has been Quad, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, hands up, put them high to the sky. Let me set your soul on fire tonight. Not, not, we not trying to fight. Let me set your soul on fire tonight. We live fast, ain't time for waking up. I make time, then we be breaking up. So ask God, give me one more try Let me set your soul on fire